Medical Ethics Committee of this institute has reviewed your file and has studied your research with the greatest of interest. It's also examined your brilliant university record and your doctoral thesis, Genetic Structures in Nucleic Acids. Uh, before we make our final decision, we would like to ask you a few questions. Of course. How long have you been attempting genetic mutations? More than two years. Has your work been conducted with the assistance of a more experienced scientist, or have you proceeded according to your own personal criteria? In the beginning, I collaborated with Dr. Bruegel, but he felt my point of departure was wrong. And you are convinced it is correct? Yes. Death is not an irreversible fact, and the cardiac muscles stop pumping blood and the brain ceases to function for a certain period of time. Approximately eight minutes, something continues to exist in every lifeless body. Nucleic acids, magnetic brain waves, and all the biochemical elements that have not yet begun their decomposition. And to prove this, you seek authorization to handle human bodies whose deaths have occurred no more than eight minutes before? That is correct. Dr. Rugel refused to collaborate with you. What exactly did he say to you? He stated that my theory went against all human, scientific, and divine law. And you don't believe that this is so? All truth, by simply being the truth, is human, divine, and law. Dr. Froster, the members of this committee have unanimously decided to roundly deny your request to experiment with human cadavers. Furthermore, we warn you that if you insist on continuing your research... You're all wrong if you think you're going to stop me. You clinical bureaucrats. I'll get what I'm after, and nobody, nobody will be able to stop me. Come on. 